Hey everybody, how are you? Okay, I'm back here with another cute design. So this design is gonna be uh, something very uh, really bad for people. There are some people that works for, um, what is these people that take care of dentists, pediatric, pediatric dentist places, <laughs> clinics. So um, I do that, especially only for uh, like Halloween and you know very special events. But uh, there was a kid night in Texas House I did yesterday, Mondays. And it was a theme, the Tooth Fairy. And so there was a Tooth Fairy giving brushes and toothpastes, pastes, pastes. And the thing is, I was there and I have an idea to make something uh, specific for that theme because I'm gonna, I always do something specific for each theme. Anyway, so now this is gonna be the thing. I am gonna make a tooth. So let's start with the tooth first, because then this tooth can become a tooth fairy if we add some wings and antennas. So that was, I did, and it was a hit. Everybody loved it. I also did a toothbrush. If you want me to do that, let me know. I can make it another tutorial, because it was another good uh, hit. You know, everybody say like, I want, I want a toothbrush, a toothbrush. And then everybody was using a sword. So it's like, take you so long so, to see the kids using, you know, that toothbrush as a sword. It hurts. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm gonna show you now the tooth. So let's just start. You're gonna need a 260 white and you're gonna inflate it to, to like 12 finger tail. You don't gonna use it all. And let's just start this. I just, I'm looking, you know what, this. And if you're gonna know what is all this, this is my new tip idea, my tip jar. And I have this super cute um, unicorn and I found it on Walmart. So um, I'm talking more about this in my tutorial. Go look for the ice cream cone, cute ice cream cone. And look, so every time, yeah, it's some letters there. Maybe you will see backwards or something, but it's making, giving some, some wishes, like have a great day, have a magical day, you are magical, blah, blah, blah. Boom, you can turn it off any time you want. So every time someone tip, put the money here, pick, then this thing I push, ping, and that's it. And I leave it there for a couple seconds, you know, and then boom, turn it off and I keep twisting. So, and it always is, there is an assistant, you know, that is willing to do that anytime, you know, someone is tipping, so. Because I don't want all the kids pushing it, you know, because you don't want your unicorn to be dirty. And kids sometimes have dirty hands because they're eating candy all the time. So that's why. <laughs> okay, maybe I can make another sock, right? <laughs> like someone that the kid can push. <laughs> anyway, so that's an idea. And keep going, what if we do in the tooth, right? Sorry, I just like looking at it and it's so cute, right? It's so cute, look. Ah. So it worked really good. It worked out really good. Check out my tutorial of the ice cream cone. You will see um, I was talking more about that. Okay, now let's start. I say how many finger tail? Yep, 12. Now let's start making. It's going to be, oh, let me see if I remember. Oh, yeah. Let's go with this idea. It's going to be like a four finger bubble. And then we're going back with another four finger bubble. And then from here, we're gonna go with another four finger bubble. Up to, we're gonna make it go through these two bubbles. A lot of the tutorials you've seen this, you know, days is about this idea. So all the started thing while I was watching and making this tooth. So then I found the ice cream cone and then I make it into that idea of this rolling through how you make your uh, roses. And then I, it came out even a bee, like a bumblebee. So you see, it's like with, one technique you can have a lot of ideas to make anything right <laughs> well keep going so we are here four finger bubble three four finger bubble all together now this is what i think is going to look easier you can stop here put it here and then you're going to grab a balloon scrap of 160 and you're going to use it all you just need like three finger bubble and then another three finger bubble but each three finger bubble you first going to bend it and then that's going to be kind of the roots, right, for the tooth. So you have something like this, you see? Three finger bubble, but in between you bend it. Then you're going to squish the air, but while you twist a little bit, just like this. You see? And then from here, you're going to bend again, three finger bubble, twist them, push, and then you have some bubble that same size as this one, right? Because it's a three finger bubble. And I'm not so like perfectionist in that aspect. So, and then always keep these little pieces to make a uh, little bubble for your gamble machines. Okay. 
but we're not gonna use it right now. We tie them, and then you have this. It's okay if it came and down, doesn't matter. You can twist it again in the center, and you keep it here. Or right now, you just grab one side of this 160 and pass it through one of these bubbles. So doesn't matter the bubble, you just pull and pass it. Okay, now you pull, because remember you leave some space there. And now you're gonna grab this balloon, the 260, and cover that. So you have that, you cover, you grab the nozzle and twist it with another four finger bubble there. Twist them, and this is how easy you can make a tool. But wait a minute here, right? Because we are thinking this is gonna go up, but no, nope, this I like to put it down. Yep, this is gonna be in the, down, in the part that is here, clean. And in this part, what we're gonna do, it's gonna make four pinch twists of two bubbles, two finger bubbles, so let's go. Two, and they don't have to be perfect because your tooth are not really perfect in exactly the shape. So depending on how big you make these bubbles, the pinch twist, it's gonna have the shape more like one side and then the other side. I'm gonna show you the picture I saw to have the idea to make these tooth. There, and it's another cool white design. I like cool white because it's cute and it's like, uh, kids love it. I love it. <laughs> okay, keep going. You have one of these, you have to make three more. So two finger bubbles, pinch twist, you can make one a little bit shorter, like two and a half, or two, I mean one and a half, what I'm saying. Another pinch twist, you know, play, uh, and then another pinch twist. Okay, and when you have the fourth pinch twist, look, in the center, right here, you're gonna make a very little, very little, little, little bubble, very little. And you're gonna pinch twist it in the center, and then you're gonna grab the rest, cut, so you have all this for another design. Okay, there you go. Okay, now we have something like this. You see, you put two bubbles, and then in the back is another or another two pinch twist, two pinch twist. This goes there, and it totally makes me feel like a tooth or a, a molar. <laughs> it's like a molar, right? That's so you have this and you bend it if you need things you need to mend them more, but there is the tooth. You can cut these little pieces. And also it's a lot of, you know, depending on the occasion. If everybody, you know, is talking about tooth and tooth and tooth fairy, people will see and they will be like, whoa, that's okay, out of tooth, yeah. Now, this is the cute part, yeah. It's a cute tooth if you do the shopping time. Because from here, you just look at it and you're gonna make an eye here, an eye here, and then the smile, you decide in which bubble, in this one or in this bubble, or in both in the middle, but it's hard in the middle. So I'm gonna show you what I did to not make it look so weird, to have a mouth in the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna start making the kuwai eyes that you probably already seen if you've seen my other tutorials. Uh, it's just like this, I'm making a big circle, then a circle big, inside and a little one and then cover the rest with black <laughs> yep so uh and i'm sure you can have find better ways to make uh cute eyes but this is for me the cutest uh and fast you see if you want you can add eyelashes eyebrows but i'm gonna leave it simple simple just like that and you can use your black and do the smiley face but if you have pink sharpie or you know permanent marker you can make you the cheeks. And this is what I noticed. Usually I grab my Sharpie like this. You see how is the line going like this angle? Pew. Like, pew. <laughs> but to make the mouth, I'm gonna twist it the other side. So it's gonna be this part, the point, going that angle. Pew. <laughs> it's kind of, I don't know, I hope you can understand. But I, you know, so that way I put it in the center and I just put it all the way inside. <laughs> and I go like this and then from there I just grab and make a smiley face look and it's something simple but it works okay now I have super cute lips cheeks and this is the cute tooth the happy tooth all clean no cavities you can play and make maybe here like a white sharpie like that and it's have some cavities and you can make it with this with a sad face you know so you can play with that. I'm just gonna leave it like this. 
now you're gonna grab if you want to make it that tooth fairy that is uh, the one that had wings and as i'm talking about that one when it's done okay so uh i also saw you know that picture and that idea on google so that's the picture and you see it had a crown i would like can you know like headband with antennas and i once tried to do that and it had even you know like the magic wand but it's too much sometimes you know you have to cut things to make it cuter or easier for your line twist or your balloons designs so i just decided to make the wings and the antennas and it looks really cute kids love it it was a hit so you're gonna see try it you're gonna grab a 160 any color so it can be lime green it can be pink pink you know it was the you know everybody all the girls will love pink inflated doesn't matter much but nine eight finger tail you're gonna make like first one and a half finger bubble and you're gonna do this effect look this bubble the next one is gonna be kind of like like this longer because it's gonna go around so it's gonna make that shape you see okay so now you twist it so this one probably is gonna be four finger bubble twist it together and now we're gonna do the same idea now we make a four finger bubble for the first bubble and the next one is gonna go again all around so you have it like this push 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 a little more this long bubble until you have something like this you see it's making an angle now you twist and then you're gonna make a pinch twist in each side here so you're gonna make one pinch twist like one finger pinch twist and another one finger pinch twist and then you are gonna grab um and I kind of have an idea. Look, the idea is these ones are going to be like this, looking like this. Okay? So now you're going to grab. From here, you measure like around six finger bubble. And you cut. It's okay. It's not going to get untwist. You lift this for a moment to one side. And then you tie this. Or you don't have to tie, but yeah, better tie it right now. Okay. Then you, again, you do the same. You repeat the process. One finger, one and a half finger bubble. Do your pushing this with a four finger bubble, and then you're gonna make a four finger bubble, and this time also push this longer until you have like a six finger bubble. And the idea is, I don't want this to open much, that's why you have to kind of keep pushing, maybe. But if it opens, it's okay, I guess. Wow, it's okay. Now you pinch twist, one finger pinch twist, another one finger pinch twist. And then you cut and save this for your gumbo machines. You are not going to use it right now because we don't have enough to have the antennas. And for the antennas, you can grab another 160 balloon or you just go look for a balloon scrap that you have because if you're a balloon twister, for sure you will have scraps. Scraps are the extra pieces that you get. So this one, for example, it's a scrap. It's a balloon scrap 160. And I have like nine finger nine finger long this scrap and that will be good enough you're gonna blow let me see but let me see the idea is you have like something like this blowing and you're gonna split this in half so one side is gonna go up and the other one down and in a video that you will see my bumblebee tutorial i'm teaching you how to do this look when you have this you just split it in half and then you're gonna grab this and if you want to see more detail how i did this you go and check out my bumblebee tutorial okay you grab the end i pull it stretch it like this and then i just hide all these people don't see i tell the kids to blow blow and they blow and that happens okay and then you can play with the sizes the idea is as close as you can these two bubbles are the same size now you Pull. I like to do this so then they don't think and twist these two antennas, the antennas. And when you have done, we're gonna go ahead and start attaching it right here. So you just pull this and pulling this and pass it through this pitch twist and going up. And the same with that part. So you have antennas. And then remember this part that we leave some stuff there. We're gonna go ahead and pass it through this side all the way to the other side yep you're gonna keep it like this and then we're gonna pull that 160 green and it's gonna 
be making some pressure and we're gonna use the other side that we just made too and attach it. So the thing is, this design doesn't really take much, but right now I'm trying to explain you and you know, explain takes time. <laughs> Especially if I really want you to understand what I'm doing. So, um, uh, uh, because when I'm dressing balloons, I'm much faster and you will see when I was at the beginning, you know, my tutorial, just twisting like crazy. Look how cute. I think this is a super original, cute design in balloons. And if you try it, people will love it. <laughs> okay, okay. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching all my videos, tutorials. I made a lot. And the only thing I know that, you know, sometimes I don't have, you know, like a specific date. And I don't want to have that because that's going you know, to give me stress and pressure. And I don't like that. And I don't want that. Especially because I have to keep, you know, um, the busy time. And you never know what is, you know, the summer is going to be super busy for us. And right now I start, I start getting more parties, you know, booking. But um, so, but I decided to do it, you know, because it's kind of accumulating ideas. And I want to share with you because that's the idea of this YouTube channel to share ideas uh, because that's kind of the way I also learn. You know, YouTube was great, everything was free and and it's kind of like a bummer sometimes it's not happening anymore, but I, I totally get it, you know, because, um, you know, if you have something great to share and you want to make money, that's, that's really good. But I think I'm keeping the way that I'm making money with the parties when I'm going to events, you know, because YouTube haven't paid me anything at all. <laughs> I already have this channel for one year, but I know it's not like a million of people, you know, like makes balloons in the world will have that hobby, but it's a cool hobby. I love it. Well, have a wonderful day and stay tuned. Please let me know in the comments. What do you think about this tutorial, this design? I know it's coming the Sonic movie and I had a super awesome, cool balloon design and I made a tutorial. But it seems like that tutorial, it was crazy and super fast and people don't get it. And it's like, what, what happens too fast? Yeah, I used to twist and make the tutorials too fast. Now I'm trying to make that what is slowly and taking me with time. It's okay if it's 20 minutes, 30 minutes, you can always go fast, speed fast. Make me even talk faster and make me twist even faster if you want. Or slower, you can play with that YouTube thing. But I'm gonna try to make that tutorial again. And I don't know if what in the Spanish English, but I'm gonna probably do it in English. People ask why I speak English in my tutorial if, if my language is Spanish. But the thing is, I live in the United States and the first tutorials and the way also I learned to twist balloons was in English, you know, and even Russian, you know, and Japanese and Chinese, I don't know what they talk out there, but you know, it's very visual. So um, I'm gonna try to make that Sonic tutorial in a very uh, more, you know, step by step. Cause I think I was in a hurry that day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Have a wonderful day. Wonderful day. Yes. Bye. Hey, one more thing. If you like this video, if you are enjoying all of my videos here and this awesome YouTube channel about balloon twisting tutorials, don't forget you can always donate because all you give money, it's very well appreciated for this channel to be better. You know. So you go um go donate to my uh, PayPal account at pataglobo at gmail.com. And I will appreciate it for sure. Thank you. Bye.